Got another question here on the AS analytical techniques topic. And as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so we'll make a start. So compound D is neutral, so obviously there mustn't be a C O O H group in it. It's a structural isomer, so it's going to be C three H six O two. And the infrared spectrum is shown below. So I'll have a quick look at that. So there's two key areas I always look at first. Around about the 3000 to see if we've got any OH absorptions. So we can see this one here is in the right range, the correct range for the OH of an alcohol. So I'm just going to annotate that. And the other key area I look at is around about 1700 centimetres to minus one. And you can see we've got an obvious peak there. So that's due to a C double bond O. Now it's fine to annotate your spectra and I would strongly recommend that you do do that, but I'm just writing it up as well. So I'm saying from the infrared, the absorption between those wave numbers indicates the presence of an alcohol OH. It's always important to say what type of OH you're talking about. And the absorption at 1700 centimetres to minus one indicates the presence of a C double bond O. And there's just a reminder that the molecular formula is C3H6O2. So one possible structure could be that. Another one could be that, where we've kept the aldehyde group, but just swapped the OH and H around. And a possible third one could be to create the ketone group rather than the aldehyde and have the OH on one of the end carbons. 